Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day over here at CuriousMoes.com. Article shared with me by my friend Craig out in New Jersey about a mystery sphere that fell from the sky just a few days ago in the area of Veracruz, Mexico. Right in here, a community of just over 600,000 people. We're going to come back and take a look at this very interesting article here in just a moment. And I've also got multiple examples of spheres in the sky up here in the United States that I want to share with you guys that have similarities to the one that we're going to read about that fell from the sky and there were witnesses that saw it fall from the sky down in Mexico. But first over here at the website, today's feature photo was sent in by Patrick out of Eli, Minnesota. That is one strange looking sky. Almost looks like a, a sky you would see in some sort of an alien world movie or something. That is truly bizarre. Once again, photo by Patrick out of Minnesota. Quick look at the Schumann Resonance, and you can see our 24-hour cycle is running up to par once again on August 9th. You can see the pattern started again at around the 9, 10 o'clock universal time. Today, though, it stopped around 18, 19. It's been stopping around the 20, 21 mark, but today it stopped a little early. I have a theory I want to share with you guys tomorrow about the, the possible origins of this energy. Looking at the Sahara Sand situation, not much change other than the fact it's encompassed now half of the state of Florida. That large plume that was hanging around offshore has moved onshore right now, once again occupying most of, of southern Florida. And there's another 4,000 miles of Sahara sand behind that plume that again just made landfall in Florida. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that, that monitor the mighty supervolcano. And over here in the northwestern quadrant, quite a bit of earthquake activity. Here's a screen grab I took from, from earlier this morning. You can see these three seismographs here along the far northwestern edge, all showing signs of long duration small earthquake activity. Grayling Creek is showing magma intrusion. And there's another seismograph up here that's been absent now for over two weeks. That would be Hebgen Lake, the, the location of the, the large 7.2 magnitude earthquake that occurred back in 1959 at the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, just north and west of the, the Caldera. But that seismograph, for unknown reasons, has been absent for a while. And a quick update over here at the Lake Mead Reservoir, day number five now of an increase in the water elevation at Lake Mead up to 1,041.53 compared to 1,041.46. The outflow is still less than the inflow. The inflow 14.5, the outflow 10.8, but I will say the, the outflow has been steadily increasing over the last five days. And real quick up here at Lake Powell, nothing's changed. The, the outflow is still much greater than the inflow. The inflow 5,900, the outflow 12.4, so that equates to a negative change at Lake Powell. So the water's going down at Lake Powell and the water is going up at Lake Mead, but I don't know for how long. It's simply because the outflow flow has been slowed down considerably at one time 50% less than the than the inflow but no matter how you look at it this is day number five of an increase in the elevation of water at Lake Mead and that's a good thing we don't see that very often now coming back to the article I began with about the mystery sphere falling from the sky in Veracruz Mexico those who saw it said it emitted a sound but no fire in Veracruz a mysterious metal object bearing a secret code has some sort of writing on it I guess fell from the sky just before midnight on Sunday night this would have been just a little over a week ago causing a firestorm of intrigue and it goes on to say that this thing landed in the top of a tree and it was made of very durable plastic or some sort of a metal alloy and it had a antenna on it and here's a Facebook post you can find link down below in the description box of this object that's sitting in the top of a tree if that were a balloon I've seen weather balloons in the sky through a telescope uh, many years ago and when they fall to the ground or at least the one I saw it comes apart in long strips like ribbons and this one here whatever it is is still intact and you can see what looks like an antenna or something protruding from the bottom or maybe that's the top of this mysterious object that landed in a tree in Veracruz, Mexico. And people said this thing made a sound as it was falling from the sky. It did not leave a trail of smoke or anything like that. 
uh, made some sort of a, a, a strange sound. And once again, that landed in a tree right down there, and it was retrieved by the, the Mexico Navy within a few hours of it landing in a tree. So once again, this article was shared with me by Craig from CuriousMoes.com. You can find this article linked down below in the description box. But I've got several other videos that I want to share with you guys of what appear to be spheres in the day and nighttime sky. We're going to start here in Grantsville, Utah. This is the location of what looks like two spheres in the daytime sky, and they were out here in a very remote location, visible from over here in Grantsville, which is right here just south of the Great Salt Lake. And I'm going to share that video footage with you guys right now. It was noticed in the daytime sky looking west. Gentlemen, watch this thing for an extended period of time. Right out in here is where this object was at. And here comes the video, and I, I condensed the video there was quite a bit of footage of this thing as it remained in the same exact location once again for an extended period of time on August 2nd of 2022 at 8 34 p.m. that's the time of this video and they observed this thing for quite some time turned off their recorder and then started recording it again about 15 minutes later and this thing stayed in the same exact location you're going to see this bank of clouds right here move towards this object and the object doesn't move it remains vertical and you can see down here in the lower left I've inserted a close-up view of this object and it appears to be two spheres on top of each other that aren't leaning to the right or the left and you know there's winds up here there's always strong winds up here in the the mid latitudes of the atmosphere and on this day I'm sure there were winds up here as you're gonna see these clouds move in this direction towards this object whatever it may be but it's unfazed by the wind it stayed in the same exact location for, like I said, an extended period of time. I'm going to step the video forward because this is over six minutes long, and you can see that cloud I was talking about. That's actually coming towards the viewer. The, the object, whatever it may be, is remaining in the same exact location. This is video number one, and we're about to go to video number two, which they took 15 minutes later from the same exact location, and the object did not move. It stayed in the same spot. Right there's the object looks like two spheres on top of each other and if you look at this thing close which you can see down here I've zoomed in as as close as I could get without becoming too overly pixelated there's no apparent payload hanging off the bottom of this thing and a lot of times when you see weather balloons in the sky I've actually seen one through a telescope that had a large payload on the the bottom of it out here above the desert and the balloon shredded it came apart like like long ribbons and the payload landed on the ground this doesn't look like that there doesn't appear to be a, a payload Payload. And a lot of times, uh, a heavier payload will cause the balloon to be in the shape of a long teardrop. This is not in the shape of a long teardrop. In fact, it kind of looks like a snowman up in the sky. Two spheres on top of each other. And based off of what we see here, I put together some numbers, some approximate numbers. I would say this thing was somewhere in the neighborhood of four, maybe 5,000 feet in the sky. Looked to be about three, maybe four miles away from the viewer in the western sky. Making this thing somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 feet tall about the, the height of a, of a two-story home. And this thing hovered in the sky way out here in a, a very remote location southwest of the Great Salt Lake, due west from Grantsville, right out in here. And, and nobody lives out there. This thing was just hanging around in the sky for several minutes. Once again, it did not move. And here I do some enhancement work, and you can see what looks like two spheres on top of each other. There's two that I worked on, and here's two more. And that's exactly what they look like. They don't look any different. Okay, that's video number one. Now we're going to video number two by Pam Hornet. Not sure of the location. Video's from June 19th at 1119 p.m. Something unusual in the nighttime sky. It looks like some sort of a, a white sphere. Either way, it's bright white. Doesn't appear to be moving much. Seems to be in the same location. I'm going to zoom in and do some enhancement work and in this particular segment you're going to see what looks like a dark area on this sphere maybe it's a hole some sort of a marking kind of like what they saw on the object that fell from the sky above Veracruz Mexico that was the only time in this video that that thing showed up that's why I paused it right there the rest of the video just looks like some sort of a round object in the nighttime sky here I enhanced that segment that had what looked like a, a dark feature and in this enhancement light is dark and dark 
dark is light. So the dark area looks light in that segment. And there it is. In the original format, there's an unusual marking on this sphere. We're going to look at yet another sphere, Samantha H. Not sure of the location of this one either. It was in the nighttime sky, and it was recently here within the last week or two, maybe sooner. Something in the nighttime sky that doesn't appear to be moving. It's maintaining the, the same position. When I do some enhancement work, you can also see a strange dark marking on this object as well. And when I put it side by side with the, the video I just showed you guys, they definitely have similarities. And these are two people that do not know each other. And these videos were taken on different nights. And once again, I'm waiting to hear back on the location of both of those objects. This one here is out of Sterling Heights, Michigan. Video footage taken by Bill a of yet another unusual object in the nighttime sky looks very similar to the two videos that I just showed you guys this one here is maintaining the same altitude doesn't appear to be moving if it is moving it's not moving much it's not very high in the sky I would say maybe 400 500 feet appears to be pretty good size maybe 12 feet in diameter, 15 feet in diameter. It's a pretty good size object. It's not moving. It's not blinking. It's, it's maintaining the same color. If it is blinking, it's very difficult to tell. I've zoomed in over here on the left. The right is the original video that was, that was sent in by Bill, and I haven't adjusted it in any other way. This is the original format that Bill shared with me of something in the sky a few nights ago that resembles a sphere. So that's video number four. And here's video number five another quick video out of Ohio sent in by Yahoji of a sphere in the daytime sky and this too was kind of maintaining the the same altitude it wasn't moving much over here on the left is the original video it was a vertical video look at how high up that is that's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 maybe 12,000 feet here I zoomed in on the right and they did an excellent job recording this thing. The camera's not bouncing around much considering how far away that thing is. That's probably two miles at least away from the viewer. So I zoomed in the best I could. It looks like some sort of a, a white sphere in the daytime sky. It's maintaining the, the same position. I couldn't see if there were any unusual markings on this one as I couldn't get close enough to it because it was so incredibly far away. Once again, probably two miles away from the viewer. And this next video Video footage is of yet another sphere noticed by Mary Hall from the International Space Station above the South Atlantic Ocean on July 30th of 2022. Here goes the object zipping through the field of view. That is not something on the ground. That's an object in the sky above Earth. And when you zoom in on it like I'm doing right now, it looks like the other videos that we just saw. Looks like some sort of a large white sphere high in the atmosphere above planet Earth. And this one here I would assume it was so incredibly high above planet Earth that it was not visible from the ground. This one here was probably only visible from the International Space Station at this time. That doesn't mean it didn't come down through the atmosphere at a later point in time. But there's several examples of other spheres that were noticed in various locations across the United States and from the International Space Station that have similarities to the object that fell from the sky above Veracruz, Mexico. Great job, guys. Keep the photos and videos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.